Hi everyone, welcome back to this machine learning course. And today we are going to solve our first portfolio project. Okay, we have been solving a lot of projects and those are really helpful. But now we are going to look into much of a wider perspective where the data set is actually from real life. Okay, so the, uh, the problem statement is that uh, you are a data scientist and uh, you are a data scientist of the company Car Deco. Okay, that's a company that that's actually a real company and the data set is actually provided by them and it's online okay the, that is open source okay you can use it so you are a data scientist of car deco and they have instructed you to create a model from their data to predict the price of a car okay they have a set of features we are going to look into the data set so uh, then uh, they have a set of features and from those features you have to uh, uh, create out some model using some uh, technique, supervised, unsupervised, it's on you. Probably, yeah, we have only completed regression, so obviously it will be a regression problem only. So this is our regression project. Uh, from the name itself, you can get it out, right? So you have to build a regression model out of that. In this video, we'll just look into uh, what's the problem, what's the data set, how and what we can do. And in the next video, we will try to solve it out. Before that, it's an uh, project. So I will highly suggest you that you guys solve it out. All the steps has been written out. So let's see what about it, uh, everything about it. Okay. So we have a bit about the data set. We have name, year, selling price, kilometer driven, fuel, seller type, transmitter and uh, transmission and owner. Okay. Now let's look into the data set as for now the step one is import all the libraries as of now i just want to check out my data set so that's the reason i'm just checking it out over here so i'm just importing pandas and i'm gonna do is df pd dot read csv so if you see i have two data sets over here I have bike data and car data. As for this, I'm going to use the car data. And that's it. Now let's look into the data set. Oops. Hmm. So we have car name, year, selling price, uh, the present price, also the kilometers driven, fuel type, seller type transmission and if you are the owner defines the number of owners of the card that previously had okay so we have transmission also seller type fuel type kilometers driven present price what's the selling price here and the car name so from all of these data what we need we need to predict a model we have to create a model which will predict us the selling price so obviously x will be everything uh, other than selling price and y will be our selling price then we will perform some EDS step 2. If there is any encoding, standardization or normalization needed, you have to do that first. Let me change this. Encoding. Then you have to split the data set at step 4. Okay. You have to use train to split. Then you have to train the model. You have to call out the libraries for calling out your uh, regression model. Fit your data into that. Do the prediction part and then you have to evaluate it. As of now, I have given out a sample solution. Okay. While training the model, I got something on the training set, something like this on depending upon the matrix that all the matrix that I have used in R square error, mean absolute error, mean square error and root mean square. And for the test set, I'm getting this. Now the answers might vary. You might get exceptional, more better answers than me or else uh, you can get extremely bad results. But if your results are nearby this scale, nearby this scale. Uh, then you have done actually a good work and you have been following out all the steps above. Also, uh, if you have got the same solution like this, there's also a catch over here. There are ways by which you can create a much robust model, a much better model. Uh, rather than having this solution that is 0.87 as R square in training set and 0.83 in test set, you can create out uh, again in linear regression only. You can use generalize it using some other techniques okay 
so it's on you it's on your research if you want to try out some different models something like uh, what we call as lazo regression we haven't covered it but uh, it's something you should be looking up okay so that's it try it out if uh, in our next video we are going to obviously solve this problem out okay but before just going in and jumping into the next video make sure you try to solve the problem by yourself so that's it happy solving and we will connect in our next video